Hey there, it's Coach Miller with B2B Lax. And what I want to talk about right now is coaching across different ages, skill sets, and experience levels. And this happens a lot, and it can be challenging at times. Especially, say, you're a coach, you're you know, a high school coach, but you're also coaching youth players, like in the fall, or whatever it may be. Um, it's challenging, because you could be going... For myself, for example, I'll give you a, you know, a personal example. So, you know, I've coached in college for eight years total, and now I'm coaching at Gonzaga, uh, a top high school program in the country. And then in the falls, a lot of times I coach, you know, youth players, you know, in a program that maybe are new to the game or have never picked up a stick. So it's like completely different. You're going from a top program in high school to coaching these players who potentially can't even catch and throw. So it's like, how do you do that and how do you you know stay focused and calm and don't get frustrated with some of the you know the skill levels that they may or may not have and that you might expect you know based on you know where you come from or you know what your experience may be so i think um one thing that i would be so decisive about is Everybody needs to be coached, like whether you're a professional player, you know, a top college player, you know, a high school player, or a youth player, or somebody new to the game. Like all players need to be coached because these kids are, you know, they're just young kids and they don't know everything and they may think that they have all the experience in the world, but they don't. And there's some things that they need to hear time and time again to help them become better players. So, like, when I was at, you know, when I went from Tufts to Georgetown coaching, you know, it was a big jump. It was from Division three to Division one, and I was like, whoa, you know, these guys are coming from the top high school programs in the country. Um, you know, I think that they probably are pretty well prepared. So it took, you know, about two weeks for me to realize, no, 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 like these kids need to be coached just as much as any other kid needs to be coached because when push comes to shove, they're still 18 to 22-year-old kids, or, you know, if you're coaching a high school team, they're... 14 to you know 18 year old kids and those kids need to be coached they have distract distractions outside the field that just you know they just need to be brought back you know focus on the fundamentals focus on whatever it is you're focusing so just understand that those coaches need that those kids need to be coached at all times so and the other thing you know whether you're you know coaching kids that are new to the game or you know have a ton of experience you need to be clear out there you know just be clear on what you expect and be clear on what the drill is hoped to accomplish. Be clear on what you want to do on game day or whatever it is. And just, you know, be confident in that and just communicate it effectively. You know, whether it's a kid that you're coaching a team that can't catch and throw, just be like, hey, man, we're going to go out there. We're going to try to, you know, complete these, you know, a couple passes in a row. And if we do that, you know, let's just focus on that for now. And then we'll take the next step after we get that, you know, accomplished. If you have a top program that's, you know, winning, you know, 10 games in a row and you're playing your top rival, you know, just be clear on what you expect. Like, I expect you to give the best effort, you know, coming out here and then, you know, our next game and we're going to prepare effectively. We're going to stay focused and we're going to give our best foot forward and hopefully, you know, we come out with another victory, get our 11th win in a row, whatever it may be. So just, you know, from my experience, just if I could give you, you know, those two tips, it's just... Understand that all kids need to be coached. Be clear on what you expect and just, you know, go out there and, you know, have some fun and make sure that, you know, you're not, you know, you know, you just, you're understanding whether the kids, you know, lack that skill level that you want them to have. And then you, you know, you're pushing the kids that have that upper experience, you know, but just being understanding, having some fun and just, you know, being clear about everything you do. So Coach Miller with BTB Lax, we'll see you in another video. Hey, Coach Miller here, and I want to talk to you for a minute because I've got a question for you. Why are you still here? And what I mean by that is, why are you still here on YouTube looking up lacrosse videos? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you're looking for those tips, tricks, drills, and advice because you want to take your game to the next level. And I think that's pretty awesome, actually, that you're not on the field right now or in the gym, but instead you're at home on your computer or tablet looking up how to get better at a sport that I love, and you're doing it on your own time. It tells me that you love the game too, and you're probably pretty passionate about getting better. Well, I want you to watch something, because I think it will be right up your alley. We spent a whole day with Mike Kimmel, an absolute beast of a lacrosse player, a college All-American at Hopkins, and a multiple MLL All-Star. 
and we worked on putting together a completely free three-part training series for youth and high school players just like you. Because here's the thing, and don't get me wrong, I love YouTube, and here at BTB we have a big YouTube channel with a ton of videos and whatnot because we want people to see it and improve. But a big problem with YouTube and with what you're doing right now, searching for videos just like the one you watched, is that it's unfocused. It's like you get this one tip or trick or fix or whatever it is. And I'll be honest with you, what you really should be doing is zeroing in on the two things that a lot of big time players, just like Mike, say are the two specific things that are really holding kids back from playing at their next level. Your offhand and your off ball play. Once you've got full confidence in your offhand, it opens up the entire field for you and effectively doubles your options, whether the ball is in your stick or not. In your off ball play, well, I can tell you that for about 90% of the time in a game, you don't have the ball. But the impact you can have on a game by making the right moves and decisions off ball is staggering. So when I said earlier that we work with Mike for a full day on the training series, that's what we focused on, like a laser. If you go through this free training, you're going to see the results right away. Trust me, thousands of kids have already gone through it, and that's the feedback we've gotten. Game changing. So, tell you what, stop browsing YouTube for the next 15 minutes, and right now go watch the first video in our three-part free training series with Mike Kimmel. Down below there's a link in the description of this video that will take you straight to a page where you just enter your email and will instantly send you the first training. We'll send you the next two pieces over the next couple days. Can't wait to see you on the inside. Have a good one.